This is what the kitchen looked like at the beginning. And this is what it looks like when we're done. Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm starting a kitchen renovation. Woo! I'll give you a little tour of the kitchen as it is right now. Just have these oak cabinets. They're actually in really good shape. This uh, old style Formica countertop. It wasn't really finished. It actually wasn't really cut very well either. Um, it's kind of imitation wood look. Same thing over here. Very little counter space. If you see that, barely fits a dish rack right there. And then it butts right into the refrigerator. There's nothing along this wall. And then the only additional counter space is over here, which we need for our coffee machines and other little appliances here. Cabinetry, there's actually a decent amount of cabinets uh, for this tiny little apartment. It's a one bedroom apartment, which is actually a rental in my two family house. So in my opinion, this is enough cabinetry for one or two people who live here. It might add a little bit more, but it's definitely not enough counter space. And this table is not really necessary or functional. So the idea right now is to have an L-shaped counter that's gonna go along this wall and then move that fridge over to this area. It's gonna be right here and have a little bit more counter space there. So the plan is to actually keep these cabinets, just rearrange them a bit. We'll, we'll change the color. We're gonna get new countertops. We're gonna keep it low budget though. The appliances, nothing matches. That fridge is actually too big. It doesn't fit the space. So a new fridge, uh, ideally a new stove. We have to re rearrange some of the electrical. We have this one outlet right here above the sink. We have zero outlets along that wall. So maybe installing a couple outlets there. Over here, there's only one outlet right behind this wall. So we're gonna have to get a couple more outlets there. That light switch is gonna have to move this way a little bit. There's a lot of things that have to be done. Fortunately, we don't have to gut the drywall or anything like that. We will have to patch it in some areas. The flooring is gonna have to be redone. We don't really like this color and it's kind of cheap laminate flooring. So we're gonna do something better there. The fixtures, this is pretty much the cheapest fixture that you can possibly buy for a sink. So we're gonna be updating that updating the hardware on the cabinets. So we're basically touching every area of this kitchen. And today, I'm taking the first step on the kitchen renovation, which is gonna be electrical. This is the only light in the kitchen right now, and we don't like it. it kinda looks like it's from a bus station or something like that. So we're gonna get rid of this and put in six recessed LED lights. These are the recessed lights we're using. These are commercial electric LED recessed lights. I actually use these in my shed build and they came out great. They're extremely easy to install. If you notice, this box has been torn apart. Um, I always look for that kind of stuff at Home Depot. As long as the items inside are not damaged themselves, I look for a box that's damaged and then ask for a discount. That's one of the ways to save money. They gave me a 10% discount just because the box was torn up. The only switch for the light is way over here on the wall. I wanna move it, but before I touch anything, I need to determine which breakers controlled which circuits. All right, so the first thing we did was identify all the circuits. So this is the uh, sub panel for this apartment. Figured out what circuit controls that light switch and turned it off. And then figured out some of the stud placement here. This is where our fridge is gonna go. So we need to move this light switch over and it makes sense to have it closer to the door anyway. So it's gonna go right about here. Use the stud finder to find out where the studs are. So we're gonna have to drill through a couple studs to get the wire over to here. We also figured out where our recessed lights are gonna go. We have it marked on the ceiling. We're gonna be repainting the ceiling anyway, so it uh, didn't matter that we marked it. But first step is to go ahead and move that light switch. So I'm gonna cut this wall open and move the wire over to the door. Cutting small access holes to change electrical is way better than gutting the entire wall. You can give yourself enough space to get wires through and then just patch the holes up later. All right, this is done for now. Just ran the wire through one stud, and then this is actually a triple stud here. Did a half inch hole through there, right towards the center of the studs, so that there's a lot of meat on either side, because this is definitely load bearing. Went through, up, and into this box, and I will connect it all once we have the recess lights in, 
so that we'll have some light in the kitchen. Meanwhile, my wife has been prepping the holes for the recessed lights. We've got three out of the six done. We'll go from there. Now I'm going to work on getting this light switch installed. <clears throat> this is the living space. You come in, you want to turn the lights on from here. So I'm going to have a light switch right about here and run the wire up through the ceiling to the recessed lights. This is an old telephone wire. I'll just remove this. At this point, I decided that I was going to eliminate the double light switch that I worked on moving on the other side of the room and run the overhead lights from this new switch off of the bedroom circuit. That double switch on the other side would turn into a single switch that would just control our outside porch light. With a few holes cut in the wall and the ceiling, we could start routing our Romex cables. We fished the cable up from the new light switch hole and around to each of the six holes in the ceiling. I then put enough cable through each hole and cut it so I could attach the lights. With all the lights installed, it was time to install the switch. I added a one gang electrical box and prepped to run a wire from the bedroom switch into the kitchen. All right, all the lights are in. Moment of truth. Hit it and hit the dimmer. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> With these new lights in, it started to feel like we were making some real progress. The next thing I needed to work on was installing new outlets. The first one I tackled was the one that would power our refrigerator. That meant removing these cabinets. A fridge is generally supposed to have its own circuit, and that pretty much is what we ended up having here. All right, so I've been doing a lot of electrical work here. I added an outlet down below. That's gonna be for the refrigerator. I jumped this outlet up top here because there's gonna be a little counter space here. So I wanted an outlet up here. And then over this side, there's going to be counter here now. And I'd like to have an outlet on this wall and one on this wall. I may just use this and turn this into an outlet. This is just a weird switch that for some reason controls that outlet, which the uh, hood vent is plugged into. But may get rid of this um, and this just turn into an outlet. It's very close to the sink, so definitely that'll be a GFI outlet. But for now, I'm trying to find out where the wire is running in this wall. It's definitely coming from the panel through the wall here and down to that outlet. So it's in here somewhere. I'd like to not have to go off of this outlet, find where the wire is and fish it through that corner. That's really hard to do. So I'm cutting myself a little bit of a exploratory hole in the wall here, try to find that wire and maybe I can go right from there and wire up an outlet right around here somewhere. Turns out the wire was not running through the wall. Instead, it was running along the ceiling and down. So I sliced open the wall, drilled through the studs, and installed my own cable and receptacles in the wall straight from the sub panel. In total, we added one light switch and six outlets. That meant that the kitchen went from having three outlets to having nine. Huge improvement. To patch the holes, I screwed some scrap wood behind the hole and popped the old piece of drywall right back in. Unless I had lost or damaged that piece, then I just cut a new piece to size and added some tape and spackle. If you're curious, I'll add some links to the products that I'm using in the description below. All right, all the patching is done for the drywall and I have at least one coat of spackle over everything. This area in particular is pretty challenging. It's just a long strip, so I just put one thin layer of spackle that's gonna dry and harden. I have some mesh tape holding it in place. I'm not too worried about this patch because the counter is going to be above it, but I do still want it to be uh, pretty nice. So I'm letting that dry. I'm going to do another layer over it, sand it down, and then we're ready to paint there. Over here, this is where the fridge is going to go. Remember, we're moving it from where it was over in this corner. I'm going to get a little more counter space. I'm going to move it into this corner. So that outlet down there is ready to go. I just finished spackling all the little screw holes and everything. We're gonna paint that uh, first before we paint anything else, just so that we can get the fridge in there and we don't have to worry about it getting splattered on. So right now, our new fridge is 
sitting on the porch out there. So I want to grab that, put it in place. That's where we're at now. And uh, keep going with some spackling and sanding and then start painting. So the last piece of electrical is going to be this GFI outlet here, which is going to be 10 inches off the counter. And then I'm going to have another one that comes up off of that one into the cabinet above the stove for the new range hood. So that range hood, um, we're going to get a microwave range combo that's going to be able to go up into the cabinet and plug in hidden inside the cabinet there. And just going to get rid of this giant hole that used to be an outlet. But that's pretty much going to be the last of the electrical for the kitchen. All right, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. The electrical is pretty much done. We got all the lights in, new outlets, outlets for the fridge. Everything is kind of placed and ready to go. In the next video, we're going to be moving cabinets and a lot more. So please subscribe. Stay tuned if you want to see that. And until next time, I'm my brother Carl, and I'll see ya.